What's going on guys? Hope you are having a great day out there today guys we have returned back down to the skate park the next day it's a little colder out here it's about 38 39 degrees but we brought along with us the type of 6s the max we're gonna run this thing probably on 6s and I brought along the Italian hoagie you guys haven't had that one out in a little bit ran the typhon up the track but uh, we're gonna get on here see how far we can send the typhon and uh don't know what cars will be on this video I guess we'll see what breaks and how long they last but it should be a good time so stay tuned everybody the typhon is fully m2c beef caked out we got the m2c shock towers on here the upper hinge pin the lower hinge pin braces we got the m2c chassis under this thing a little dirty from the last run <laughs> we had the early breakage on the a arm and last time out on the ramp with this thing because i decided to clock the ramp head on but got the center braces chassis all shock towers we're gonna get on here as long as we don't break an a arm we should have some fun all right came outside the fence here so that the old snack and pack sign isn't blocking our view the whole time try and get a landing out here Oh, it landed so nice, but we have bounce. But guys, this thing just, there is nothing else like the Typhon. Something about the way this car just flies, um, it's just like a rocket. <laughs> After having the old uh, Crate Next out uh, here yesterday, guys, that car, I am just absolutely uh, loving that thing. I mean, the handling and the air control on that thing is just phenomenal. I was gonna bring it back down, but I figured I'd bust out a few other cars, have a little fun with them. Nice. Man, it's catching some nice airtime and some pretty good distance out here. Out to this spot's usually around just about 100, a little over 100 feet. Not too shabby for the old Typhon. Yeah, I just walked it off. It was just about 102 feet, 103 feet out there, but it's catching some nice height. Perfect for the Typhon. Hoping to build my own large scale ramp here this summer. Nice. But I want to build a bigger ramp to be able to take this thing out and really get some good full speed launches. Because obviously, I mean, this is only probably 40 feet from where I start up there to hit this ramp. So it doesn't give me a lot of time, obviously, to be able to get much speed, but <laughs> still able to get out to 100 feet in that short a distance isn't too shabby. Ooh, that was kind of weird. I could not bring that thing back up. I don't know if you guys heard that. I was getting on the trigger but for some reason, I couldn't correct it. It didn't want to come back. That was kind of strange. It just sat there, nose up in the air. There we go. Ooh. Well, she got out there a little further that time. That was probably around maybe 105, 108 foot. Got some good distance off of that one. All right. Maybe it's time to give this a try. I really want to clear that building. <laughs> I also do have the hub extenders, um, the wider hubs from M2C Racing on this thing, so it does give it that extra little bit of stability. I think it's time we're going to send it off of this beast. I got to make sure I hit this left side. I really don't want to get the Typhon stuck up in the tree, guys. Let's give her a launch, see if we can clear outside the fence. Oh, we got kids out here. All right, well, it looks like they're staying over that side. Here we go. Oh! Well, that thing kind of uh, shot off the tree. Didn't land where I wanted it to, and I think I broke a shock standoff or something. Ah, oh, broke. Wow, well, I pulled out the upper ball blew out the shock rod or the shock uh, end but it looks like the a arms and everything else held up oh man I think took a nasty nasty smack shined up the uh the old m2c chassis there but the shock towers are all straight which is usually the first things that always bend on this 
Um, I'm not sure if I split that cup or not in there because I actually have these ends, so I could fix this thing. But we might bust out another car here. It's an easy fix, but it's cold out here, and I don't know if I feel like fixing this thing out here in the cold right now, guys. <laughs> All right, I got back up to the car here. Yeah, it's just that I don't see the upper, um, it's not split, so I can pop that back in. So really the only thing I broke was I split the shock rod and easy enough fix, but everything else is all nice and straight. The chassis is straight, shock tires are straight. Thing held up great, um, but yeah, that was just a bad landing. <laughs> but we're gonna bust out the Max now and have a little fun with that thing. All right, guys, we got the Max out. We are running this thing on 6S. So she should be, <laughs> they should be a good time. There we go. All right, let's give her some launches. All right, like I said, we are running this on 6S. It has a stock motor, but the ESC from the X-Max in it. Got a few upgrades done to it. And I landed on its back, the first jump. This thing just backflips entirely too easy. It's almost kind of hard to control. I might try the other tires back on this thing again. <laughs> Battery flew out. I'll tell you what, guys, this has been one of the actually, for some reason, one of the harder cars for me to get used to. Um, between the way that it jumps and handles in the air, it's definitely, it's definitely a bit different. It's fun. Let's see if we can get this. There she goes. <laughs> Don't mind the self writing thing sometimes. Try not to get out too hard. It's really hard on the gears, though. Kind of a bad thing about it. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, I broke both of the Velcro straps that held the battery in there. That Velcro straps were garbage. I got to get some good ones for this thing to hold the battery in there. Man, I don't think I've ever said this, but I'm actually having a really hard time controlling this thing in the air. It just wants to rotate so much that it's hard to judge. Or it just needs to be a better driver, which that's definitely possible, too. We're going to try this again, though. All right, we're gonna try some lighter ones here. If I can get used to the air control on this thing because it's just ridiculous. It's uh, It just wants to flip so much. <laughs> you get any speed on these wheels and it just continues to rotate like crazy in the air. Never had a car do this. Now, see, I was trying to be a little too easy. <laughs> All right, we'll get used to this, guys. Or I might try the stock tires back on this thing with the same system so i lose a little bit of air control because i'm definitely not lacking air control at all all right getting better able to kind of control this thing i just cannot come ripping into the ramp um you know full trigger on her because it just gets rotating like nuts <laughs> we're not gonna make this video too much longer i know we had most of the time with the typhon but There we go, getting the hang of it a little bit. Able to just pull a single backflip and land it nicely. <laughs> if you're really good at backflips and landing them with barely being able to see which direction it's going, this might be the perfect setup for you. Land a little bit front heavy, but guys, having fun with it, I'm surprised this partially broken uh, Velcro strap is actually holding up the way that it is. She definitely got lots and lots of power though. This thing will wheelie. It's about half quarter trigger, half trigger. It, <laughs> it's 
it is not lacking in power. Yo, Max is fun. All right, we're gonna give her a couple more jumps and we're probably gonna call this video a day. I hope you guys enjoyed if you guys did. Um, you know, and you should watch at this point. And if you're not subscribed, please consider hitting that subscribe button, turn on the bell. You know, I don't uh, say this stuff very often or ask for it, but you know, I always appreciate it. There we go. It's hard to get the hang of this thing. Getting better and better, guys. But I think we're gonna wrap it up on this jump. I hope you guys enjoyed the video today. <laughs> I had a lot of fun down here. It's actually getting warmer. We might bust out the Italian hoagie next and have a little fun with it down here. But that's going to do it. So until next time, y'all be safe. Be careful out there. Peace out, everybody.